uh, <coughs> hello everybody uh, hope you are fine uh, now I shall show you how to use portable uh, portable query browser for MySQL database and uh, this is the repository uh, at github.com and spring api dev and here is the name of mysql uh, uh, repository mysql query browser so uh, here is a tool is a zip format and you just download uh, and uh, then you unzip it first then like uh, me uh, suppose look here mysql go it all and uh, you will get uh, this kind of uh, folder uh, when you unzip it and look here there is a mysql query browser just it just open and uh, when you will open and uh, it will ask you you uh, password then i just gave my password for my mysql server then uh, here you can uh, choose your um, any schema that uh, that is already uh, into your database so username password and default schema and just click ok and lock the uh, all of your database schema name here uh, you can uh, create any database just click uh, schema right suppose Bangladesh okay uh, here is the name here is the database name uh, Bangladesh and we can create any table here also suppose test table and ID and name and uh, just apply changes look table is created here okay but at this moment there is no data okay we can create database schema right click again and then uh, above database right click then create table okay and other you can uh, learn from here <coughs> in further moment now i shall show you how to backup your database after complete your project so I have some uh, database I need to um, export or backup. I shall backup this table boutique. Okay, just here uh, trolls and I shall open the MySQL administrator from here and then I shall go to the uh, backup area and new project here. So I shall name in name the system. boutique okay here is boutique and i shall select the boutique database from here look and after selecting i shall click here then table and database name uh, will be here so on. then next execute backup now and at this moment uh, this window will ask you the location where you want to save the da database file backup file so at this moment if i want to um, uh, save here or if i want uh, to browse another git okay uh, showing basic boutique shop and here i can make a um, db folder so shows this folder and here uh, boutique 2017 04 okay this name it is the backup was finished successfully okay at this time your backup is done and now if we uh, go to the project area showing basic and a boutique shop here is a db folder that is my backup file and if i often uh, often it by notepad plus plus then I can see everything create table product okay insert into data so data and table structure all have been exported 
are backed up. Uh, at this scenario, if you want to drop, suppose you are at another place um, and I just uh, drop the database boutique from here to show you how to export, uh, how to import or restore uh, the database um, that you already have been uh, created. Okay, so look um, here again and now I shall restore and open backup file. So I just uh, open the backup file. So this is my location boutique. Okay, uh, boutique shop BB just uh, I shall uh, choose the location or choose the file. Just uh, now after choosing the file, I just uh, uh, start uh, restore. Okay. Now, if I refresh this uh, database system, then you will see the database table and other data also here. Okay. So, uh, I hope you understand how to use uh, the portable uh, database query browser. Look, uh, this is the portable query browser. So, you do not need to... Um, you do not need to install this software just uh, mysql query browser here just download from this download from this uh, from here and just uh, unzip just unzip like this and go to this uh, software area and click the query browser okay uh, that's uh, query browser then it will open and give your password uh, and just open I hope you understand how to use mysql query browser that is portable and no need to install query browser okay thank you very much